There are people who disbelieve the growth in battery electric vehicle sales. There are many concerns, but one of the most prevalent is about pre-registrations. They say that the sales figures are misleading, that the dealerships are not actually selling the numbers being reported. Instead, they say, many thousands of cars are being pre-registered, making the figures look better than they really are. If only there was a way to tell, to know for sure one way or the other. Well, maybe there is. Maybe we can see whether there is any truth to this suggestion or whether this theory has no merit. Let's have a look at the data. In the UK, the SMMT, the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, is responsible for gathering sales data for the new car market and making it available to the public. But their remit is actually slightly wider than that. The government requires manufacturers to report pre-registrations as well as sales, and the SMMT is also required to gather that data and publish it for all to see. That gives us hard facts on which to base opinions, to identify if manufacturers might be misreporting their new car sales, thereby sidestepping some of the legislation through which their actions are regulated. I think it's fair to say that this data is not as easy to find as it might be on the SMMT website. This particular link seems to have been dropped from the navigation menus in recent months. But the pages are still there, so we can get to the data if we can find the right section of the website. If you want to see the data for yourselves, then the link to it is in the description, as are the links to any other sources I reference. So if you want more details, or to do your own analysis, then that's the place to head. Oh, and I should also mention that the navigation on the website does seem to change a fair bit. Therefore, you might need to use the Wayback Machine, an internet archive, to access previous versions of the site for links to older data if things change again. However, I've amalgamated all of the data already, so we can have a look to see what it shows. Did pre-registrations take the huge leap in 2024 that has been suggested as a way to sidestep the ZEV mandate rules? Here is a chart of the total number of pre-registrations grouped by year over the last four years. Yes, interesting. The trend is significantly upwards, isn't it? And there is a big jump in 2024. So maybe there really is a conspiracy at play. But perhaps we need to dig in a little deeper to get a better understanding. Here's another chart, slightly adjusted in one single way. I'll get back to what that adjustment is in a moment, but first let's take this in. This chart shows that there was a big jump in 2023, that's before the ZEV mandate was enacted, and that the increase from 2023 to 2024 was actually modest. It's important to note here that all of my charts are auto-ranging, the scale is varying between slides, and that the 2024 total on this chart is significantly lower than on the previous one, down from 6,167 to only 2,207. Why that big difference? What was that adjustment that I made? Well, to explain that, I want to switch to a tabular view. Let's look at the numbers themselves. Here are all of the figures we have, but this isn't all that easy to comprehend. So let me simplify the table a bit in a couple of steps. I'm gonna whiz through those steps quite quickly, so pause the video if you want to see the table after any single step. For everyone else, we'll be there in a jiffy. Firstly, let's delete the rows for manufacturers who haven't done any pre-registrations in the four years I've gathered. Next, let's convert the figures to a percentage of the total pre-registrations in that year. And then finally, sort by percentage in 2024, in descending order, so that the manufacturers who pre-registered the most cars last year are visible at the top. Now we can perhaps see in a bit more detail what's happening, and perhaps you can guess what the adjustment I made actually was. Nissan have been doing the lion's share of pre-registrations in the past few years. 64% of all of those pre-registrations in 2024. So the adjusted graph simply excludes them. Their data somewhat skews what we're looking at. 
We're old Nissan. They seem to be in a spot of bother. It's a real shame as they were one of the visionary manufacturers 15 years ago. The Leaf was a very early entrant into the EV market and sold well to begin with. However, they seem to have let their lead ebb away by failing to update the car or build others until very recently. Now it's worth pointing out that we don't know that all of the pre-registrations are EVs. The data we're provided is not split by drivetrain. But let's assume the worst case scenario, that all these are EVs. Based on that assumption, how bad is the problem? Well, we are now selling a lot of EVs, so maybe it's not quite so bad as we might think. Let's determine the proportion of total EV sales that might be pre-registrations. This chart shows total pre-registrations of any kind as a percentage of new EV sales. We've got the same four years on show, 2021 to 2024. And remember that the ZEV mandate was only in force for the last of those years, 2024. As we can see, the trend is upwards, but it's a very small proportion of total sales. This is not exactly huge numbers that should trouble us. A maximum of 1.6% of total EV sales isn't much, assuming that they're all EVs. And those figures would look lower if we excluded Nissan again. After all, remember 64% of pre-registrations in 2024 were by that one manufacturer alone. However, I haven't been able to find exact EV sales figures for Nissan GB, so excluding them would have to be based on somewhat approximate sales data. And so we'll have to let that one slide. In summary, it's not true to say that a large proportion of EV sales are actually pre-registrations. Manufacturers are required to report them and we can get the data from the SMMT, data which disproves this hypothesis. Pre-registrations are trending up for sure, but it's a maximum of 1.6% of EV sales in 2024 and only 0.3% of the total car market. It could be even fewer than that, as we don't know for sure that all of the pre-registrations are EVs. Furthermore, almost two thirds of all of last year's pre-registrations were by a single manufacturer, Nissan, whose more affordable EV is now very long in the tooth. The practice of pre-registration has formed a part of the new car sales strategy for multiple decades. It's a practice that started long before EVs were available from major manufacturers. The ZEV mandate probably has resulted in use of this mechanism increasing a bit, but it's still a very rare practice. I think we can dispel the idea that there are huge numbers of pre-registrations being made. This, as with other EV myths, is unfounded. Thanks very much for joining me. Your questions and comments on this subject are most welcome. Can you see something in the data that I'm not seeing? If you've liked the video, then it's a help to me if you click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more from me. Thanks.